So this is just a segment of a longer video, but it really demonstrates how surfing across a rhino is faster than going straight down. Here I'm going straight down wind, and you can see the speed is pretty consistent at about 15 or 16 kilometers an hour. You can see the arrow is pointing west-northwest, and the sun reflection in the shot should make it pretty obvious when I turn right and start surfing across the river. So here we go. You can see the speed drop first as I hit the rudder to make the turn obvious in the video, then watch the speed climb up towards 20 km an hour. Important to note I am still on the same runner, just moving across it. As it happens, this runner wasn't being too cooperative for this video just yet, and I had to straighten back out to stay with it. You can see the speed come back down to that 15 km an hour, but then it starts to open up on the right again, and off we go. You can see the speed climb back up to 20 km an hour, and as this runner really starts to cooperate with the video, I can even stop paddling and just sit there surfing across. By the way, this is about a 12 knot wind, and you can see there isn't even white caps out here today. As I come back around to pull more straight downwind again, the speed starts to drop back to that base speed of about 15 kilometers an hour, but hopefully you can see here why going straight downwind is actually slower than having the wind coming over your shoulder and how good paddlers seem to get such fast splits even when the wind isn't blowing hard. Hope this has been helpful.